Cleveland, Knicks all-star guard Jalen Brunson had to be helped off the floor Sunday because of a left knee injury. A potentially devastating setback for New York. In the first minute of a 107-98 win over the Cavaliers. However, Knicks coach Tom Thibodeau told reporters after the game that Brunson has a knee contusion and x-rays were negative. He said he had no timeline for Brunson's return. Brunson, who averages 27. 2 points, appeared to get hurt while attempting a jump shot over Cleveland's Isaac Okoro. Brunson came off a screen near the foul line and raised up without any contact. The 27-year-old Brunson's legs split awkwardly as he came back down, and he staggered toward the three-point line before falling to the floor. He grabbed his left leg and sat on the court while play continued. Brunson briefly got up before limping to the sideline and dropping back down. He was helped up and assisted to the locker room in obvious pain and distress. I think anytime someone goes down like that, you have concern. But then you felt a little better. He got the x-rays. He was examined by the doctors. That news is good, Thibodeau said. A replay showed that early in New York's first possession, Brunson banged knees with Knicks center Isaiah Hartenstein as he moved past his teammate while setting a screen for him. An elite scorer, Brunson has been carrying the Knicks, who are without starters forward Julius Randle, shoulder, center Mitchell Robinson, ankle, and guard OG Ananobi, elbow, because of injuries. Brunson is in his second season with the Knicks, who signed him to a four-year, $104 million contract as a free agent in 2022. Brunson spent his first four NBA seasons with the Dallas Mavericks. The Associated Press contributed to this report.